Welcome to the journey into the shadows of the COVID-19 pandemic. As the world continues to grapple with the immediate effects of this health crisis, a new battlefront is emerging. The long-term health complications stemming from the virus commonly referred to as long COVID. This condition is as mysterious as it is diverse, presenting a complex web of symptoms that persist long after the acute phase of COVID-19 has passed. Today, we are going to delve into the intricacies of long COVID, shed light on its relation to myalgic encephalomyelitis, chronic fatigue syndrome, and explore the varying perspectives surrounding this confounding condition. Our journey is inspired by an in-depth study recently published in Nature Immunology, a study that has been hailed as a landmark in our understanding of long COVID. So, sit back and join us as we unveil the complexity of this emerging health issue. Have you ever wondered why long COVID, a post-acute sequelae of SARS-CoV-2 infection, appears to be such a complex and elusive condition? Today we delve into this mystery guided by insights from a pioneering study recently published in Nature Immunology. Professor Ellen O'Reilly from the University of Edinburgh praises the study for its detailed clinical profiling over a robust patient cohort. In her words, the meticulous approach adopted by the research team has unveiled the intricate landscape of long COVID. We're now looking at five to six distinct syndromes, each characterized by unique abnormalities. Despite the inherent variability in the data, the large scale of the study lends statistical weight to these findings, opening up new potential therapeutic pathways. The implications of this research, however, go beyond long COVID. Some identified syndromes bear a striking resemblance to the enigmatic myalgic encephalomyelitis chronic fatigue syndrome, or ME-CFS. This parallel offers fresh directions for understanding and potentially treating this poorly understood condition. However, not all voices echo the same sentiment. Dr. Emily Fraser of Oxford University Hospitals urges us to consider the broader context of post-hospitalization recovery. She questions, could the symptoms we're attributing to long COVID simply be the general aftermath of severe illness? A comparative analysis with other severe infections could help us better delineate the specificity of COVID-19's long-term impact. Professor Kevin McConway of The Open University, while acknowledging the study's statistical rigor, reminds us of its observational nature. He says, while the study provides a detailed account of long COVID symptomatic variants and suggests potential therapeutic avenues, it does not conclusively address the causal mechanisms of long COVID. We need further research and clinical trials to validate the potential treatments hinted at by the findings. In conclusion, this landmark study, despite its limitations, represents a significant stride in understanding long COVID. It challenges our monolithic perception of the condition, offering a nuanced perspective that acknowledges its multifaceted nature. Moreover, it sets the stage for future research and potential therapeutic interventions, reminding us that the journey to fully unravel the complexities of long COVID is far from over, but we are undeniably one step closer.